Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. 2015 Toyota Prius. It reached 105,000 miles finally. And it's a time for me to offer to the owners the services which are scheduled in the maintenance booklet. These vehicles generally don't need any work. Today is the day. And as title of the video already showed you, we are dealing with the spark plugs. You guys are experts on this generation of the Priuses. So you know that all those parts on the floor are actually related. In order to remove the spark plugs, you have to remove the ignition coils. And if you look how long they are, there is no space for this movement going up when the cowl is here in this area. That's the parts lying on the ground. So I removed all of that without you because this is not a video how to change those spark plugs. I have such a video obviously on this channel already posted, so I will be not doing double, but we should speak about a really important item, and that is how to correctly torque the spark plugs. And it's very important item or the fact, because what will happen if you don't correctly torque them? Let's start with the in fact, you will let them loose. If you let them loosey goosey, they will just sit there and they will eventually, the gases from the combustion in the cylinder will start blowing by the spark plug, which could cause misfires or it could also damage the threads in the head. Here you can see Two of those use power plugs. You guys know me. I will always use what the says belongs there. And in the third gen Prius, you supposed to have SC20 HR11. The Denso in their catalog keeps it under the number 3444. I went on Denso USA. I have a nice screenshot ready for you. I will post it right here so you can see all the uh, technical information about it. Now to remove these, you probably saw how thin they are. They are not the old spar plugs. These are the pencil type, they are thin, and you need the wrench, the socket right here. It's a 14 millimeter. I forgot to finish the thought. What will happen if you will over tight them? If you will yank too much on these, these threads are being screwed in the aluminum head. Let's show the thread right here in the picture. So that thread, could actually rip and strip that aluminum head and there will be possible very costly repair. So you have to be very careful not to torque them too much, not to yank on them too much. And in the past there was, there were steps how to do that shown on the back of this box. But something changed and now they are giving you this QR code just to waste your time to go look it up. Instead, it was right here. It's unbelievable. And I already removed two and installed only one. This is empty. So I will show you how it even comes, how it's packaged. So this is brand new. And you see that plastic, and that's a protective cover, which is protecting the tip. If you read that info, I looked up for you on that Denso USA page. Uh, you will find out that here 
the distance between these two tips will be not adjustable it's a 1.1 millimeter and you will never touch that please don't touch it and our torquing will be basically for squishing this crush washer which is right here hopefully you can see it moving this will be sealing all that combustion which is coming right here or happening right here in the cylinder so it will be not blowing by and coming out and that's why it's so important for us to use the correct torque procedure. Let's go and show how these, and it will be specific to these, which are straight. There is no conical shape here. It has a crush washer. How we can correctly torque those. So first I'm going to take the brand new spark plug and I will insert it in this socket. For those who are new to it, there is a rubber part inside which will hold that spark plug in so when you are having it this way the spark plug is perfectly secured inside and it will not fall out so now I can continue to the engine I said number one was already done number two was removed so I can show you how to install it now what is extremely important don't hit this tip on anything and carefully insert it in the tube. Now, by the hand, I will start turning this whole extension clockwise. And I will go for a while, because it's a very long thread, until it will stop. Of course, the garbage guy showed up right when we started making the video. What a surprise, huh? As what is really important, all of us kind of wiggle that socket around so you don't have a false end, making sure that we are all the way in and we really reached that crush washer and now the torquing procedure will start. Now the birds are stomping on the roof. We waited for a garbage guy to leave. Now the bird landing on the roof and we'll keep scraping the metal roofing. I think we will go on, but otherwise we will be just waiting forever. So, for you who doesn't have a torque wrench, then so is allowing you to torque your spark plugs this way. You will be holding your ratchet and you will carefully feeling the spark plug resistance you will carefully torque it after you reach the resistance point doing it by hand only you will use the ratchet and go between 90 up to 180 degree so once again if you start it here now you already feeling like the resistance change you will stop if it didn't you will go max 180 but it's a max again we want to prevent damaging that soft aluminum head and not rip that material out by those threads so let's go and do it on the car i am still in that number two cylinder Let's see, I'll be careful around the windshield here and I will position that ratchet. Now it's this way towards to you and let's see where it will stop. So I will just check it one more time that it's hand tight. Uh, now I am this way set and let's go. And I'm feeling it using my previous experience and I will say the 90 it's actually very slightly past 90 using this method I will say I squeezed and crush washer enough this spark plug is perfectly installed and I can move on the next one and I brought my cheat sheet here because I remember it in the Newton meters as a Japanese uh, vehicle, which is in metric. I use Newton meters also being from Europe. 
and it's a 15 to 25 they give us the denso gives us a range of 15 and up to 25 newton meters and that's it for you who wants to have it in american standard that means it's between 11 and 18 foot pounds let's go and remove the number three on this previous is always be careful this is a windshield if you hit it with this ratchet or something you can crack it so be very careful here so i will first feel oh yeah the socket went all the way down i have the spark plug i cannot move it i will reverse my uh, ratchet and let's see oh yeah that was not bad and that was a factory that was a factory torque that's how they installed it. these spark plugs servicing this vehicle for a years we were waiting for this hundred five thousand miles because that is recommended by Toyota replace these spark plugs also if you look on the denso side they say actually for this model 3444 come on birds just go uh, even denso says the lifetime of this spark plug it's or the maximum it's between 80 and 100,000 miles Toyota says do it at 105,000 miles and we will compare using that 50 Newton meter we will compare if it will give us the same angle here is our trusty snap-on as you remember this baby from different videos on this channel it's at 29 it was probably some water pump in the past so I said we will start on 15 newton meters I have here that brand new spark plug number three one two three carefully I don't want to hit that tip on anything and I'm going clockwise and feeling it that it's smoothly coming in I will not cross thread anything when you are getting in that resistance always wiggle it because you want to make sure it's not the socket which is touching the walls there but the spark plug is all the way in okay this is wonderful is it still sitting on 15 yes that is a 15 newton meters it didn't uh, switch off itself and look now i have it same way as that ratchet was and let's go for 15 wow look at that so i will say this is a angle of hmm, maybe 80 degrees or 85 degrees i didn't even go to the 90. then so tell us that there is a range between 15 to 25 let's see what 20 newton meters which is that middle sweet spot between 15 and 25 let's see what this will give us now we did 80 degrees so i will get some reference for myself let's say this will be zero for me and i will continue with that additional torque let's see now we have a 20 and this is my friend 45 so 80 plus 45 will give us 135 that's the angle which we reached with 20 newton meters here comes our brand new spark plug the last one made in japan i always recommend you guys if it's your own vehicle please use only the correct spark plugs it's worth every single penny these ones i think there is a denso store where you can buy it for like 12 plus tax 
I was paying for this today being delivered to me like a 16, 17 plus tax. So they're not cheap, but if you consider how many times in past you had to replace them if they were for like 30,000 miles. If you had to go to the service and do it already three times and not pay only for the spark plugs, which maybe were five bucks, but don't forget you have to pay for the also the labor to do the job. So this is actually big savings for the owners when the spark plug, iridium spark plug lasts so long. So I'm again here this way and I will just do it by the feel. So that was almost 90 and this is 90 and I will say yes, 90 could be actually plenty. I probably turn this one like a hundred degree and by the feel, using all of us the, this short ratchet, I feel that this is absolutely perfect. So somewhere there is what I will recommend. Knowing these engines, knowing these power plugs, doing this job very often, I will say, yeah, it's somewhere around hundred degree of the turn. I'm very happy I had a time to film this short video for you, yet very important video. You definitely want to have the spark plugs always perfectly torqued. How many times I could a vehicle for service and the spark plugs were loose. They were basically just sitting there. Many times I saw the blow by on them and I never can figure out how somebody can pay for that. And it's not done correctly, it's just sitting there. And then it could have a misfires or other problems. So I'm glad I made it. I hope you will find it helpful. Definitely people will. If you like it, please give it a thumb up. Be subscribed, have notifications on so you don't miss the future videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.